good afternoon everyone and myself ayush gupta my topic is how to determine the blood group from saliva i am a psc third year student okay next slide please abhishek as we all know blood plays a very crucial role in forensic science and crime scene investigation but in some cases we do not even found the blood at the crime scene for example in rape cases robbery cases harassment cases suicide cases and so many more in such situations we found other body fluids such as saliva urine and other body fluids etc according to the recent researches we can also use saliva to determine the blood group okay next slide please introduction so why we are using the blood group because blood group is very important at a crime scene because the blood group of a person never changes throughout the life because some specific antigens are present on the surface of the blood cell with the help of these antigens we can found the blood group of the person but according to some researches these antigens are also present in other body fluids such as saliva urine pancreatic juice etc next slide please if in saliva antigen is present or not is depend on the secretory nature of the person there are two type of person in the society one is secretor and second is non secretor as this is shown in the graph that more than 80% population are secretor and antigens are present in the other body fluids such as saliva if a person is a secretor so we can detect the blood group of a person from their saliva next slide please in recent years many new techniques have been introduced and many investigations show up to have 100% accuracy in detecting the avo blood group from saliva the method used to detect blood group from saliva is known as absorption inhibition technique there are also other techniques such example absorption illusion technique but in all of them absorption inhibition technique is the best to determine avo blood group from saliva by absorption inhibition technique we can find avo blood group of a person with 100% accuracy but there are less less chances to determine the rh factor of the blood next slide please so there are two data in which in birth data this is showing that the correlation of avo blood grouping between the dry saliva sample and extracted socket blood so this showing the 100% result to determine the avo blood group from from the dry sample dry saliva sample and in the second second chart we are showing the correlation of rh typing between dry saliva sample and extraction socket blood this is showing that there are very few chances to determine the rh factor from dry saliva sample but there are more more chances to find the avo blood group from dry saliva sample because at last we are getting the dry saliva sample from the crime scene next slide please so the conclusion is that we can use saliva to de to detect the avo blood group with 100% accuracy but we cannot find rh factor from saliva okay we can also find we can also use saliva to determine blood group determine to determine blood group in clinical practices and those who have phobia from injections next slide please thank you so much